Hello everybody and welcome back to Croc in this, the summer of Sony. So, uh, yeah, about last time, um, I was actually contemplating just redoing the whole five levels because of the fact that, like, I don't know, looking back on it, I don't know, I just felt kind of bad about how frustrated I got and, um... You know how much I was complaining because there were a few points in there where I was coming across as really whiny. Um, but though there are some parts where I feel I was completely justified in my anger. But I don't know. I, I at the end of the day, I just figure you know what I'll I'll just keep that part in because quite frankly, I didn't want to have to deal with the whole idea of having to um like just redo that first level or just going to another level entirely and trying to farm lives just so I can like scum my way through that level because that's pretty much what it was going to come down to like I would have to just keep burning through my lives just doing like getting a little bit further into the level each time and just wasting lives trying to figure out how to deal with that elephant section but I figure going, I'm, I'm going to go back to trying to give like each level a fair shot and trying to do everything inside it. Because yeah, like that anger in the previous part, that was just like misguided frustration. I mean, I was on that first level for 50 minutes. Like, that was just one level, so... Yeah, of course I was going to be really frustrated, and I probably should have just, like, taken a little break right there and came back to it, or restarted the recording. And just be like, okay, um, this is a take two, because I was getting a little heated during the first level, and it's really tough, but I'm going back into this with a new outlook, or after I had some time to rest, so... Yeah, we're going to... You know, take that as a learning experience. Okay, you're probably going to take me back over there, I assume? Well, where are you going to take me? Oh, you're going to take... Oh! Ah, that was awful. That was awful. Okay, but, um... Ugh, I have one life left to make this work. You, I probably should just go back to one of the earlier levels where they had a lot of lives and just farm I have one more life left okay uh well yeah when I inevitably die on this life I'm gonna go back in to a earlier level and farm some maybe if I come back to this with like eight or so lives I should be fine Something happened over there? I don't really know what that button did. I'm just taking my time with this platforming. One gem, one gobo. I'm probably missing something in that first area. Oh my god. I do not like those little stompy guys. Okay, as long as I stay away from them. No, no, that didn't work out. Okay, uh, let me farm some lives here. Okay, didn't farm nearly as many lives as I would have liked, but I think this will be fine for my survival going forward. Okay, yeah, so you do just want to time when you start going across the monkey bar so that you don't get caught in his little stomp. Ugh. And yeah, there's a key up here. Alright, alright, alright. So, yeah. This level, 
Not that bad so far. But yeah, just going back to what I was saying earlier, I'm going to give like everything in these levels a fair shake. But if it gets to a point where I'm like sort of getting frustrated or I feel I'm not making progress in figuring out said puzzle, then I'll just give up. But I'm gonna actually, you know, try this time. Because I will admit, last time I was not trying. Like, at least in the previous part. Because I, I, there were a few points where I was like, oh, this looks annoying. I'm not even going to try it out. So, yeah, I won't be like that today. But I will set like a little limit on how long I'm going to attempt certain things. Just for the sake of my sanity. I do not like those platforms. Oh, oh, okay. Now, th the least they could do is like, give you one or two crystals right here. So that like, the next thing you do won't kill you. I mean, you can tell they put a like, some effort into this game and they really wanted it to be good I mean they could have stopped you know and gave up all hope the moment Nintendo said yeah we don't we don't think this would be a you know a good thing for Yoshi but I don't know that this game it is heavily flawed I mean not flawed to the point that it's unplayable like uh Superman 64 or uh um, like Sonic 06. Because, I mean, it does some things in a competent fashion. But it's just... There were some... Oh, man. There, there, there's just some design choices that are off. And I stand, I stand by this being stupid. Like, not having a single crystal... To help me out in this situation. I mean, as I was saying before, the music is really good. It looks good. But it's just the controls sort of like really keep you from enjoying the levels all that much. Because these controls are not good. At all. Like, at, at least for a 3D platformer. Oh, great. And that's timed and... Oh, boy. So I wonder what that even activates. See, I'm, I'm afraid to jump because I, I want the camera to at least sort of be, like, somewhat behind me. So I think it controls that... It controlled that platform? I'm not... 100% certain. I didn't really like how erratically it was moving. Yeah, I think they want me to jump up there first. Okay. That was one of the colored crystals, and then there's a key up there. Oh man, this this place. Cause see, I'm I'm really scared to like take unnecessary risks because I'm down to two lives now. But first, I need. There's probably going to be a gobo in here. Yep. 
Okay, all right. I'm just being really careful and really cautious. That's not something I should be feeling in a 3D platformer that's supposed to be fun, but whatever. Okay, there's a key up there. Just take your time. You have time to reposition. Uh, and yeah, it's essentially like you have one chance. If you screw up, that's it, so. I knew I should have tried to get more lives. I'm shocked I, I could make that, okay. So, is it possible for me to return? Yes. Okay. I'm just so nervous right now. Wait. Okay, I managed to get one of them at least. Or two, how many? Yeah, two. What is that? Okay. Oh man. Whatever, just... Okay. This is all kinds of scary. But at least these stay still. You would think I'm playing, like, the hardest game in the world that requires all of my concentration and just careful movements and stuff, but no, this, this is a 3D platformer for the PlayStation. I'm just so nervous, because one false move, this game is really unforgiving. And I mean, I would be fine with that if the controls allowed for you to be able to easily maneuver around and stuff, but whatever, whatever. Oh, okay, things are jumping out. Cause I know one of these is gonna be a colored one. Or maybe not. Also, I have no clue what any of this has to do with freedom. I mean, the name of the level is Sand and Freedom. Oh, and this was actually mandatory for this section. Okay. Well, at least I got... What even hit me? Do you have a projectile that was, like... Invisible? I don't know, the hitboxes in this game are really weird, too. Wow, I actually have to hit the button again. That, and it just occurred to me, all of this is mandatory, too. Like, to just normally beat the level, because I haven't seen the end goal yet. Wow, I screwed that up royally, and yeah, I'm probably about to die here. Okay, then. Yep. Well, so much for 100% here. Let's just try to beat it normally. I tried, but I don't feel like going back to farm more lives, and yeah. Huh. 
Huh? What? I I had crystals. Did Did the sprite hit me twice? I don't Whatever. Not to mention that area is, t is just bullshit because you you have like no real way of timing that. Like you have to just get lucky the moment you make it all the way up those little falling platforms. You because I mean, if you get all the way up there but the platform that comes out of the mud or lava or whatever it is isn't there. You're, you're screwed, and you're just gonna lose a life immediately. It's... Man, this game has flaws. Okay, so I'm back here with the gold key now, and yeah, like, I don't know, man, this game, like, I don't, I'm not one to really complain about things being too hard, considering I do play, like, Super Meat Boy and games of that ilk, but for the love of God, it, like, Oh, yeah, I screwed that up. Whatever, I'll just tank that. But, like, if you look at other difficult games for the PlayStation era, it's it's night and day. I mean, like, Blasto is a hard game, but that's mostly hard because of, like, well-placed enemies and... Yeah, I mean, that, that that's pretty much it. Just, like, well-placed enemies and challenging level design. And, yeah, there's the bonus area over there. Uh, yeah, there's no point in me going over there. It seems straightforward, though. It doesn't seem like there's anything off to the sides. It's, it's just a straight shot going down through there. Yeah, whatever. But, yeah, like, Lasto just has well-placed enemies, uh challenging level design and I mean it, it makes up for that difficulty with the uh, well next level leap of faith but it makes up for that difficulty with the uh, you know like a a continue system uh, like easy ways to gather lives and stuff and power-ups and you feel like you have some control over your fate in that game and yeah, it will punish you at times, but... Oh, wow. But it's not completely unforgiving. Crash Bandicoot 1. It's a difficult game. Is something shooting at me? I don't even know. Oh, wow. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot 1 is difficult because of really good level design well-placed enemies and yeah I mean that that's pretty much it and once again you know it's it is a punishing game but it's not completely unforgiving and there are very few places where you have to use like trial and error to figure out what they want you to do Rayman 1 which I consider to be like super hard like, I can barely beat some of the early levels. But, I mean, even that game... 
you know, it's just hard because of clever level design and, uh, like, well-placed enemies. I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it's true. And if you screw up, I mean, you're, you're easily able to gather lives in that game as well. And, like, you take this game and, yeah, there's a handful of levels where you can, you know, farm lives, but... Oh, great. But I mean, I don't know, it just doesn't work. Same thing with the health system. I mean, Blasto, you have a health meter. Rayman, uh, you have like multiple hits you can take. Uh, Crash 1, like, yeah, you essentially only start with like, seriously? Seriously, but yeah, Crash 1, you essentially start with one hit point, but you're able to get masks that give you more hit points. And you have checkpoints, and I mean, yeah, this game has checkpoints too, but I don't know, I don't know. Then in Crash, you have better mobility to take care of your enemies, and... You're easily able to gather lives in that game. And it doesn't punish you for the simple stuff. I'll continue this little nonsensical rambling train of thought stream of consciousness when I get back to that area. And the fact that this is called Leap of Faith just scares me even more because that implies that there is going to be one literal, like, blind jump leap of faith in this level. And those are always good. Okay, and back here. But yeah, like, another thing- oh, seriously? Okay. But yeah, another thing is, like, all three of those games I mentioned before, they have working controls. Like, you're not going to be struggling to do basic things. I will... I will accept an argument for Blasto having not-so-good controls, but... I don't know, I mean... The controls in Blasto aren't all that great, but they don't ask you to do, like, precise things and like you have room to sort of like work with the controls in that game if, if that makes any sense like the level of precision Blasto requires is nowhere near the level of precision that Croc asks of you in certain points so let's just see what we'll find in these okay Stay calm. Slowly go through here. We've done this before. Okay. Well, this is a nice little crystal spawn. I really wish I could get the camera behind him. Oh my god. Okay, this area, not that bad. Alright. And then I just look at other games too, I mean... Yeah, you know, there's uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, the Lost Levels, aka, you know, the real Super Mario Brothers 2, and... That game is overly difficult, and it even throws in a few, like, dick moves here and there, but... Well, A, you go into that sort of expecting it, and B, the controls of the game, like, allows you to sort of work with that. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of hard to really, like, explain it. I, I don't think I'm doing that good of a job, but I mean... Oh, great. Oh, great. I, I have one chance. I, I have one chance. But I mean... 
you already know Mario can sort of he can run and jump and that's it the game doesn't throw anything ridiculous at you everything it throws at you is stuff that you can deal with and there will be some trial and error but at the very least the game like well at least in the all-stars well that actually was when it was made available outside of Japan but yeah in Japan yeah you had to beat the whole game in one go but in the all-stars version it's saved after every level so if you screwed up hey you just had to get back to that one point in that level and the good thing about Mario level design is that you know levels are short enough where you can just go right through them without spending ages in them or as opposed to this game where I'm in these levels for what seems like an eternity do I have any crystals I, I have one oh god And then, ah, oh, whatever. I gotta go through this whole level again. Uh, okay. All right, well, actually, I'm just gonna use my time right now to sort of uh, complete my thoughts, but I, another reason the uh, design and like Mario 2 and hell I'll even say this for Rayman and um, Crash as well is like a fixed camera like the camera is in one position and it's not constantly fighting with you like over every little thing and I mean that's mostly because those are 2d platformers although Crash is sort of like a hybrid but like, even with other 3D platformers that are relatively difficult. You know, the camera isn't complete shit. Like, as much as I get on uh, about not really enjoying uh, Super Mario 64, the camera is effective enough where you're not going to be constantly asking yourself, can I make this random jump? Can I make this jump? And... Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about getting that key for that gobo, so, yeah. I'm just focusing on beating this level now. I don't care about com completing it. And that shouldn't be a feeling that a player should have, but... I mean, even in a review of this game I saw when I was trying to look up hints on how to beat the little wack sheep section. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Katakaris. I think I already went over this too in a previous part, but whatever. Um, uh, he was saying he enjoyed this game tremendously in his childhood, even though he didn't really remember too much about it, so he just wanted to see if it still held up with his nostalgic feelings, and as he was playing through this, he just kept saying over and over again, the game is flawed. It does some things well, and other things it does bad, and I feel the same way. Despite not having like any nostalgic ties to this game whatsoever. And like he mentioned that doing 100%, I already had the 100% ending spoiled for me, and it's nothing special. Like, it's the blandest thing you'll ever see it's almost like you just beat a normal level in the game it's not even like a special ending or anything I mean yeah it has a hard bonus world but that's it I mean beating the bonus world just nets you like the lackluster hey you got a hundred percent in this game congratulations message and that's it like hell at least uh other 3D platformers sort of like have a special cutscene or like a I don't know like Spyro has just you know an extra little bonus world where you can just like play around and explore and have fun and it's not too hard it's like a nice little breather like you completed this game you earned this have fun Crash has special endings 
Like... I, I don't know what Super Mario 64 does for 100%. I should look into that. Um, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. You get a special cutscene. So, I mean, those games reward you for 100%. This game, after you complete the super hard, like, secret area, it's like, congratulations, you got 100%. You're a cool player. And, uh... How you pronounce his name? Catacaris, Catacaris, whatever. He was saying like it's not a good enough reward for completing the game, and con and like the game is hard enough as is. So the added difficulty of trying to like get 100%, it's just not worth it in the long run. So yeah. Oh wow, they're actually giving me a life here. That's amazing. Whatever, I'm still alive, okay. But yeah, I mean... There are times when I'm legitimately enjoying this game, and there are other times where I'm not having fun, and it's just... bad, and why is this level still going on? Oh right, yeah, this has to be the last area. And I do not like these platforms. Are you gonna die? Okay. I have like a few seconds before he respawns. Oh my god. I am not enjoying this place. Oh my god. What are these jumps? Wait, I want the camera directly behind them. Okay. And then the momentum when you, like, jump off of some of these platforms, it's ridiculous. Like, that was the main problem I was having with that elephant in, uh, whatever that first level was called like you carry the momentum off the elephant so it's it's just so awkward I oh my god okay I earned this one holy crap so yeah, I know I left some gobos behind. I want to leave this bonus area. I want to leave it. Oh, let me guess. It's a race against the ghost. So what? I, I can't let him get all the crystals? I mean, logic would dictate you probably just have to end up with more crystals than him. But knowing this game, it's probably, uh, yeah, you needed to collect all of them. In this completely dark area. Oh my god, I really think you do. And I'm missing the key for right there. And... I don't care. And, and just imagine, just imagine, like, if you really, if that is the case, and you have to, like, get all the crystals before the ghost, and you, and, like, you screw up, you have to do that entire level again just to have an attempt at that bonus section. That's ridiculous. Anyway, life's a beach. Let's do this. I've been recording for about 55 minutes now. Uh, whatever, let's just keep going. 
I guess. This is throwing off my schedule a bit, but nah. I don't really care too much at this point. Uh, give me a second. Let me just check something. Okay, yeah, this really is throwing off my schedule. So... Okay, we'll, we'll take this path first. Well, let's just see how this level will pan out. Life's a beach, that's a funny little pun. What, what, what is it requiring me of right here? Oh, joy. So are these like moving platforms when I land on them? No. So those are just some random platforms with crystals hanging out on them and I can only assume that one of them is going to be a colored crystal. That's fine, that's fine. This is gonna be one of those levels where I'm not too fussed if I don't get 100%. I'm struggling, like I'm just having an internal struggle right now, like, should I go out of my way to try and complete this or should I just call it a day if I beat it normally? Well, at least this area is done, and I'm like 80% sure one of those like crystals just hanging out in the middle of nowhere was a colored one, but I really feel like dealing with that right now. So I assume the key to the door is going to be in here. Yay, give me, like, no time to react. Well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't have been walking directly towards him, but... Oh, there's the key. I'm like, so what's the point of this area? Aside from the gobo. Okay, I guess I can make it to that gobo from one of these collapsing platforms. Wow. Okay. Oh, I was so prepared to just tank a hit, but yeah. Let's just keep going. <clears throat> oh, darkness. I still like this gimmick, but eh. If one of those Kate, I mean, Great Stompers is up there, I'm gonna be so livid. I, I need light. Okay, there's probably something down that other path, but uh... Yeah, I, I think, I think we know what mood I'm in right now. I'm in don't really care too much mood yeah but I I sort of come to terms that this wouldn't be a true 100% run anyway the moment I had to like use the master file to show off that that secret level because of the wack of sheep shenanigans no this isn't BS at all How am I supposed to even get across? So should I just jump before it makes it all the way over there? Okay, that seems to be the case. And I still got hit, but whatever. And of course the colored ones don't count as, you know, crystals you collect, so... I still have no hit points. Well, well, 
Are you serious? Oh my god. What? They are serious. This is effectively a blind jump. Oh, whatever. So, yeah, um, the fact that I'm back here, that just, you know, tells you I got a game over because I don't really know what I was trying to do with that jump there. So I'm going to use this time to see what's over on this side. A key. Oh, great. I'm still going to go over that way because... Yeah, I'm not digging that, uh... Other area. It's like I said, I don't know what that jump required of me. Or if I can even make this jump. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, that key unlocks that, thus giving you a gobo, and yeah, I'm still not even 100% sure how to make this jump over here. I, I tried timing it up when it's, like, tried timing it when it's going up. I, I, I don't know. Okay, well, I made it. Oh, great. I need a gold key for that door. So, I have to do that area with that ridiculous jump. Okay, then. Seriously. Seriously. Wow. Oh, my depth perception was just off. I thought... I, I really thought the key was over that falling platform. And I don't have a life so that I can easily just... Oh. Well, okay, I have another shot at this, I guess. Whoa. Alright, I got the key, and I guess I can easily make it back. Oh, but wait. The moment I land over here, or even get in his... Yeah, yeah, I, I get in his vicinity. I guess I was supposed to use the trampoline thing to get on top of the grate. That probably would have been the better decision. Okay. That, that was... That, I I take full credit on that one. I, I should have known that the better option is to just... Like, get on top of the trampoline. Of course. Okay, I finally made it over here with the key. Considering that's the third colored crystal of the level, that means that it's going to go on even longer. Longer than it needs to. For the level of difficulty it has. And just for the sheer, like, insanity it requires of you. I see that key out there, down there. 
I don't care about that gobo. I really don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Just, just beat this level mode right now. I, I still fully plan on beating the game legit, but 100%. That's not gonna happen. Like even, like playing this casually by myself. I think I would have given up by now. Yeah, yeah, for, forget whatever that is up there. My spirit's broken. Let's just go. I, I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes now. Uh, Cactus Jack's Ranch. Oh, screw you. Cactus Jack. Really? Oh, okay. Cactus Jack. We're, we're about to fight Mick Foley now. Okay. Fair enough. That's not the Cactus Jack I know and love. That's a cactus with a derpy looking face. I am so out of it right now and I am so behind schedule right now, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? Let's just keep going. Life, you do not seem worth it at all. Oh, by the way, there are no crystals here. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, these, yes, these hold crystals. Thank you. You know, th th thank you for putting crystals after an enemy that can hit me. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's, that's fine. That's fantastic. Okay, they're giving me lives. The game is trying to make peace with me. It's not working, but hey, you know, it's, it's trying. And we're fighting the boss. Oh my god, there are crystals in this arena. What? Okay, so... I dodge the attacks and wait for him to stop spinning around. That seemed to work. Just stay in the corner and pray he doesn't hit me. How do you deal with this attack? Whatever, he's dead. That was Cactus Jack. That... These bosses suck. <laughs> it's just... Like, there's no impact whatsoever when you beat them. It's just... Yeah, you you did it. I guess. <gasps> what was that? What was the point? Okay, well then. Um. Oh, wait. That's the end of Desert World? Okay. Oh, and by the way, the level before Cactus Jack... I like how that was called Life's a Beach, and not once did I see a single beach there. Unless, you know, we now count beaches as, uh, you know, like, you know, just, just sandbars that meet mud, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, see you on the master file for the secret level. Okay, we're here, and Defeato Burrito. Okay. That... That, okay, that, that's a name of a level, yes. Defeato Burrito, great, outstanding, okay. And yeah, we're in darkness area, darkness falls. Lives? Unfortunately, I could very well die before even getting said lives. Because these were such good developers and programmers. They thought that was a good idea. 
you know, to start you off in an area where enemies can kill you while you effectively have no hit points or no way to really react to what's going on. But hey, I'm 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 I managed. Okay. And then I can just jump in here. All right. I hope this level is a short one. Ah, who am I kidding? Well, thank you for not starting me on a sinking platform. That was really thoughtful of you. But oh, there's an enemy right there. On a on a mound. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's fantastic. Yay, I am not going to even worry about that life. Let's just keep going. Let's just speed run this shit. Let's, let's get it over with. Okay, so I'm beyond frightened right now. I should not feel this way when I see moving platforms, but that's the reality we're in right now. I'm also dangerously close to the ledge, so I'm kind of shocked I live. Let's see if we can make that. That was a very stupid idea on my part. I take full responsibility for that one. So I jump to the center? Okay then, fair enough. Oh my god. It's like I take about five, like, just a few seconds to think with each jump. Like, is this something I really want to do? There's the puzzle piece. G give me. Give me. Okay. There, there's a key in here. Underwater. Let, let's do this. Let's, let's find this. Okay. There are enemies. It's fine. They are shooting. That's not fine. No! Just get the key. If you die after getting the key, it doesn't matter. Okay. So now let's try to leave. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Oh, wow. I managed to leave here with my life, but no crystals. Because, yeah. I don't want extra lives. Why would you even think that, game? Whatever, hit the button, and then that lowers the platform that holds the puzzle piece. Or it's underneath the puzzle piece. Thank you. All right, level complete. So, it's gonna be it for today. <coughs> this game, whoo. Oh, I don't I don't even know anymore. I'm Yeah. Sorry if I sounded super lackluster during this part, but that's just what recording for an hour and a half and making minimal progress will do to you. So, next time we're going to start the Tower of Power. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for Croc Legend of the Gobo. Oh, and by the way, Area 4 it's the last normal area of the game. Like, this is the end game. Ooh, Hassle in the Castle. I actually like that name. All right, Dungeon of Defright. Yeah, I know I'm spoiling these names, so, so what? Fossilies, Freaky Donuts, Smash and See, Ballistic Meg, Fairway, oh, okay. Snipe Sniffly's Wicked Ride, Panic at the, Panic at Platform Pete's Lair, seriously. Baron Dante's Funky Inferno, these are long names, and Jailhouse Croc. And then after that, we get to the secret area. Yeah. But okay. See you next time for some more Legend of Gobos. Which is the subtitle for the game known as Croc. In this, the Summer of Sony. Goodbye. <laughs>